All right. So here we are early in this game. Early in this game, David Montgomery is already pounding the rock down our throats. And um, this is it, man. Why can't the Detroit Lions beat the Chicago Bears with a rookie quarterback? Why? Because these guys simply don't know what they're doing. Now, I saw these same issues last year on Matt Patricia's defense. I put out a video. I called it out. Said, Will Harris, these guys, they're blowing coverages. People told me, hey, Matt Patricia's a bad coach. Then if, they, he can't get the, if they're blowing coverages, that's his fault. Fire Matt Patricia. Okay, well, here we go. All new players, except for your safeties. Same safeties. Same safeties that was blowing the coverages for Matt Patricia. They're now blowing the coverages for Aaron Glenn. I said all that to say, not to defend Matt Patricia. I'm glad he's gone. I said all that to say, this defense needs talent. The defense needed talent last year, and the defense needed talent the year before that. The reason we were 32nd ranked defense is not because of Matt Patricia. It's not going to be because of Aaron Glenn. It's going to be because this defense is talentless. That's all I was trying to come across with. But here we go in the middle. We got Jalen Reeves, Maven, and we got uh, Alex Anzalone here. Now, so many things are wrong with this coverage. For one, these two are going to come down, play some bracket. He's going to man up. His man's going to run across her. Now, he's going to be confused if he's supposed to go guard the crosser or not. Uh, if it's his or not, just watch him. See, there's the signals, the communication. That's that's where the play is. I guarantee you that's where the play went wrong at. These guys just don't know what they're doing. So, right, snap the ball, play action fake. He's going to get right behind this guy and run across the middle of the field. Going to be completely odd open because he doesn't know if he has deep thirds or if he's in man. I, or my guess is he actually thinks he has help underneath which he just never gets. But, again, terrible coverage right here. So, look. Boom. See how off he is? This guy's he he's playing it like he doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing. He chases it, but there's no effort there. And then you get to just take it back a little bit. You take it back a little bit, right? And you just key in on this linebacker here. It's going to be Jalen Reeves Maven. He gets his death, and then he starts to focus on the running back. Okay, understood. Who is this guy guarding, though? Like, there's so many things wrong with this play. So, he's he's actually getting deaf to where he could take away this route, but then he noticed there's a running back. And who's this guy guarding? Is he is he a quarterback spy? Is What the freak is going on with our defense? So, there's just mistakes all around around the board. And this is why I predicted us to lose the Chicago game. It wasn't because Justin Fields is great or Matt Nackey's a great coach or the Chicago Bears. Anything. We are talentless on this defensive side of the ball. So, I want defense in the draft. I want defense in the draft. We need defense. Um, these guys can't do it. They're lost. They don't know what they're doing. You guys want, I want, you, this is what we got. This, this is what it is. This is the stake of Detroit Lions football right now. The same mistakes every single week. How long does the coaching staff get a pass? Who cares? Who cares? These guys are talentless whether we got good coaches or not. And I would tend to think with Aubrey Pleasant, a defensive backs coach, uh, uh, Aaron Glenn, an ex-defensive back, that these mistakes wouldn't happen, but they are. And we're already a quarter into the season, ladies and gentlemen. Four straight games of the same mistakes over and over again. Hey, now that you made it to the end of the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the other film sessions we got coming up on the week or any of the other film sessions we got coming up from any of the games we played this year, man. As well, hit that share button. It's the best way to help me grow the channel. And if you ever want to just chop it up and talk football with Mobby, make sure you follow me on Twitter.